I'm back in the lounge with the incredibly gorgeous Brooke Lee, former Miss Universe. How many people can say that? And being in fashion, I work with a lot of beautiful women. For our next award, we join the lovely Petra Nemkova in my hometown, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, international supermodel Petra Nemkova. I'm here to, to turn the cameras for once on David LaChapelle, a true creative genius. As a brilliant photographer and director, David LaChapelle makes the world a much more colorful and interesting place. When David is behind the camera, people open up because David is always open up who he is. A very sexy, very openly gay man. Glad is recognizing the always creative David LaChapelle with its prestigious Beto Russo Award. This is presented to an openly gay media professional who has made a significant difference in the promotion equal rights for the LGBT community. David, deserves this award because in the world of David LaChapelle, we are all equal and we are all beautiful. I've never set out to take a picture to shock anybody. David is crazy. He's a rebel. He's on his own quest. He's a free spirit. I love his imagination, and I love how he really doesn't care what other people think. Okay, that was great! He definitely inspires you to use parts of your imagination you didn't know you had. I was 18, just gone to New York, and the first place that gave me a job was this magazine called Christopher Street. And I put these two guys diving into a pool, and it became the biggest selling issue, and they were really happy. I had my first boyfriend at that time. His name was Lewis, he was a dancer, and he was, um, he was incredible. In spring of 84, Lewis died of AIDS. He was 24, and his mom wouldn't let me come to the funeral. God, you know? Insane. I joined ACT UP. It was a rough time, it was like a war. I don't know how else to describe it. I didn't want to get tested because I knew that the drugs that they would give me were gonna kill me. And for 10 years, I carried around this idea that I was gonna die. I started getting a lot of work as a photographer and that kept my spirits, so I did the test and, you know, I expected the results to be positive when I came back. It was negative, so I feel like I was just given some more time. I suddenly started taking color pictures. I sort of, like, lightened up a bit. Those are great! That's beautiful. David has been able to take celebrities and make them do things that no one else has been able to do. You really give yourself over to him, he really takes you to the edge. That's one of the things that makes him a genius. Lay back! I don't just put random ideas together. I want stars to shine, and I've photographed some of the most famous people on the planet, but I also photograph people who are very marginalized and treat them the same way. <laughs> Rise, I fell in love with the subject matter, the dance, and the artists that were making it. And the deeper I got into it, the more profound the dance became because I really got to get into their lives. They created an art form in the ghetto in a place where there's not supposed to be anything. Well, if you're drowning and there's nothing around for help but a board floating, you're going to reach out for that board. And this was our board. I believe that these young artists were heroes. And I look at them like, how do you do it, you know? And that was the question that I was wanting to answer making that film. It's very courageous and inspiring that David is able to be out there in his photographs, in his own sexuality. And I think David is really good at challenging people, challenging who they are. And he definitely inspires and supports the exhibitionist in me. I don't want to create any darkness in the world, you know, I just wanted to bring color and light and just to laugh. 
And I feel really blessed to be able to do something I want to do. I wake up every day and you don't take it for granted. You know, you love it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, David LaChapelle. Hey, I'd like to thank you so much for this award tonight. I'm in Hawaii. We got rained out um, for three days on this shoot, so I have to stay and finish it. Otherwise, I would be there tonight. Um, I want to thank Glad so much for this award. And I'd like to say something to the young kids out there. You know, don't let them get you. If people are saying stuff to you and, and bullying you at school, you know, life will go on and you'll be out of there and you'll be with people you love and first you know you have to love yourselves you know love yourselves and, and you're going to find people who love you um i'd like to say my love to amanda lapore for being my inspiration um and that's all and thank you very much